Today is August 13th, 2010. My name is Henry V. Hill from R2 Stewardship Computer Electronic Recycling. This is what we do. This is a job that, uh, uh, that we obtained through bid process. Um, this was a recycling company called Iron Mountain Recycling. And what they did is they uh, left a whole bunch of TVs behind. Um, they never registered with the state of Colorado. And pretty much this is what happens when you do not verify who you're recycling with. Uh, your computer electronic recycler that you're utilizing is extremely important to check out and ask questions. As you can see, these, these uh, people literally left thousands of TVs um, just outside. There were uh, six 53-foot uh, trailers also full of this material. And I'm just going to walk you through this 25,000 square foot building and show you some of the some of the things that are going on here. This is uh, all from projection style TVs. We have already dismantled these and and uh, we're throwing away the wood which unfortunately uh, at this time is not recyclable and so uh, we're forced to uh, kind of uh, throw that material away. Other than that we're going to try to um, get as much material as we can um, out of out of the TVs. This is a another room. Um, I'm gonna go turn on a light here. Okay, there we go. So this is just one of the other small rooms that um, that they filled up with the TVs, and uh, I'm gonna be uh, sharing more video. And I just want to begin to document this so I can send this video uh, to the public and the news, different news stations to let them know really uh, what's going on and what happened here. Uh, the only way that we're going to be able to prevent this from happening is to educate the public and also show the public, you know, what truly is going on here. Um, and, and, and what, what can happen if, if you don't uh, thoroughly check out a recycler. Um, this guy obviously was in a nice big uh, uh, 25,000 square foot warehouse, had a very good, uh, what, what seems to be a very good building and atmosphere for recycling, but unfortunately he just didn't do the right thing uh, with the material. So as you can see, I'm beginning to begin to walk. It's, uh, it's kind of like a forest of of televisions and um, this is not a joke this is a this is real life this is really uh, the state that somebody left this warehouse in and someone like me who is in this industry this is a uh, very detrimental this is um, this guy took probably hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, from the public or from company and from companies uh, uh, throughout the, our state of Colorado and, and charged them uh, for a service uh, just to have it literally be dumped, be dumped here. And uh, unfortunately, this is the result uh, that you're seeing here. These are 15 foot ceilings, so even though it might not seem uh, very high stacked, you can tell that that, that TV is about 12 feet high right there. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to continue to walk through here. Again, this is a, approximately a 25,000 square foot warehouse full of uh, uh, not only just televisions, as you can see, um, there are other, other things that uh, were left behind, um, appliances, uh, microwaves, stoves, uh, televisions, uh, complete mess. Uh, so what we're doing, R2 Stewardship's job, is to come in into this facility and basically recycle everything that we can possibly recycle. And that's our goal. Uh, that's our company goal is to divert the material from the landfills and truly recycle it. Yeah, from, a, from an environmental standpoint, from a business standpoint, this is very bad. Um, but from a recycling standpoint, there are solutions for this material. 
and uh, it's not cheap. There is a, a cost that is involved uh, when you're when you're moving the uh, the glass and some of the material that is not able to be uh, recycled without being processed first. And um, just walking through, this was actually their front office, and uh, this was this was their name. which uh, never registered with the state of Colorado um, and uh, just red flags all over the place really it's just a shame that this had to happen before somebody actually was able to take notice 